Hey, my name is Connor, and welcome to Crypto Empire, where we dominate the crypto markets. In this video, we'll be going over Juno, which is a layer one smart contract blockchain on the Cosmos ecosystem that is fully community driven. I think Juno has a lot of potential going forward as it was created to offload the smart contracts in the Cosmos ecosystem to one chain. So if you wanna learn more about Juno, this is the video for you. So be sure to stick with me until the very end. And if you're new to Crypto Empire and you're not already subscribed, Go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all the notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And let the gains be with you. So to start this video off, let's take a look at the overall cryptocurrency market cap before we dive straight into Juno. At this moment in time, we have just over a $2 trillion crypto market cap with Bitcoin trading at $42,894. I personally do believe that the bottom is in for BTC. I don't think we go lower than $33,000. However, time will tell. Now let's dive right into Juno. Juno is set at rank number 95 in market cap with a $1.1 billion market cap trading at $27.70. Now with Juno, you can see the fully diluted valuation is $5.1 billion. This is if all of the Juno coins were in circulation right now. I'll be going over the tokenomics in just one second, but Juno is on a 12 year vesting schedule for its lock tokens, and it was distributed fairly to the community on the airdrop for Atom stakers. So there are no venture capitalists, no early investors that can go ahead and dump this coin on the open market because there's no venture capitalists. I'm a huge fan of these community driven fair launch projects and Juno is an excellent example of one. Now the circulating supply of Juno at this moment in time is 40,233,000 coins with a total supply of 72,833,000 and a maximum supply of 185.5 million coins. Now let's go right ahead and take a look at the tokenomics. So the role of Juno within the overall Cosmos ecosystem as well as on the Juno blockchain because it's a sovereign layer one individual blockchain within the Cosmos ecosystem. So the Juno asset carries a variety of use cases within the Juno ecosystem, including securing the proof of stake network. So you can go ahead and stake your Juno, which is a proof of stake blockchain. Key to on-chain governance, governance, right? You vote on proposals that will decide on the fate of the network. Acts as transport fuel or gas for all interoperable smart contracts deployed in the ecosystem. And it can also be used as collateral in various smart contracts use cases and work token to capture value from decentralized applications built on top of Juno. So it's a layer one coin, think Ethereum, think Luna on Terra. It's a layer one and it is needed as the main coin of the ecosystem. Now the Genesis supply breakdown. So the community stake drop, this was the circulating supply at inception was 30.6 million Juno coins. The community pool was 20 million. So this is locked on chain. The smart contract challenges was 2.3 million. The core development reserve, this is vested for 12 years is 10 million Juno. And then the core team is on another 12 year vesting schedule is a 1.782 million supply of Juno. Now let's take a look at this Genesis supply breakdown. So 47%, almost half of it went to the airdrop for Cosmos stakers. 30% went to the community pool. 15% goes to the core development team. Like I said, that's locked for 12 years. Then 3.66% to the Juno Hacks fund and then 2.74% to the core one team. So we can also read right here that there's no seed round sales, no private sales, no public sales. It is fully community driven, given to the community, no early investors. Now, if you would like to learn how to stake your Juno on chain, because there will be a lot of airdrops for Juno stakers, as well as liquidity providers, I'll be showing you the Juno swap decentralized exchange in this video as well. Again, be sure to stick with me until the very end. But if you want to learn how to stake Juno on chain, all you have to do is let me know in the comments down below. And I would love to make that video for you. Now, in terms of getting your hands on Juno, it is not on any tier one centralized exchanges. The only place that you can actually get your hands on Juno right now is the Osmosis Decentralized Exchange. I have a full tutorial video that I made last year in 2021 about how to use Osmosis, how to swap on it, as well as how to provide liquidity and earn a very healthy APR reward. So go ahead and check out that video. I'll leave a card right here if you want to learn how to use Osmosis. It is still a great opportunity, Osmosis. I'm a big fan of it. I'm LP, I'm staking my Osmo on chain as well. Can't get enough of Osmo. Now moving on, let's take a look at the Juno website to learn a little bit more about it. So it's the smart contract hub of the Cosmos Atom ecosystem. 
use and create interoperable applications on Juno, a decentralized public permissionless network for cross-chain smart contracts. Now, it is the home of Cosm Wasm. What is Cosm Wasm, you may ask? Well, let's get into that right now. Also, Juno has the Interwasm DAO, Decentralized Autonomous Organization, so that is very good in and of itself. Now, with Cosm Wasm, we can read right here that it enables WebAssembly virtual machines. WebAssembly allows for software written in many languages to run securely on a blockchain. So it allows for developers who know various different programming languages to program smart contracts within Cosm Wasm that they can go ahead and launch on Juno very seamlessly. Wasm serves as an intermediate language that compiles the developer's language of choice into a portable virtual machine. This means that you can have a simple, secure, and fast virtual machine set up to sandbox or partition your application's actions for better testing, security, performance, and speed. So Cosm Wasm, in short, allows you to build very efficient smart contracts on the Juno layer one permissionless sovereign blockchain. So some perks or some facts about Juno right here, speed, so it's built on Cosmos SDK, runs on Tendermint, so it's fast and can execute well, very inexpensive transaction fees. It is fully interoperable because it is IBC enabled inter blockchain communication. And of course, smart contracts, deploy your smart contracts that are fully interoperable to the entire Cosmos ecosystem. So grassroots initiative, so Atom holders and Atom stakers, they got all the tokens at Genesis, no VCs, no venture capitalists, so I really like that. And then the roadmap, most of this has already been completed. One of the big things right now is the Juno Swap launch. So let's go ahead and talk about Juno Swap right now. While we're at it, definitely go ahead and follow Juno on Twitter. They are a fairly decent sized community as a grassroots initiative, and I expect this to grow more and more as interoperability does become more mainstream and more folks realize the power and necessity of interoperable blockchains and how the Cosmos Atom ecosystem is a front runner in terms of interoperability. So go ahead and follow Juno on Twitter. Now let's talk about Juno Swap a little bit. So this is the interchain decentralized exchange on the Juno blockchain. It's very similar to something like Osmosis. It's a decentralized exchange, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at Juno Swap's documents. So Juno Swap is the first ever interchain decentralized exchange focused on CW20, that's the Cosm Wasm standard asset adoption, built from scratch on the public permissionless Juno network. Now there is no Juno Swap in circulation yet at this moment in time. They have said, the Juno team has said that there will be an airdrop for Juno stakers as well as liquidity providers here on the Juno Swap decentralized exchange. So the token isn't out yet, but the decentralized exchange is running. And if you provide liquidity here, you will receive the airdrop as well as if you stake that Juno on chain. So again, if you want to learn how to one stake your Juno as well as use the Juno swap decks, all you need to do is let me know in the comments down below and I can make those tutorial videos. Now moving on, there is actually an active airdrop claim right now. If you were staking 25 Juno coins, this is for Neta. Neta is the decentralized store of value on Juno. So this is still claimable within 16 days. I will leave this link down in the description below. You can go ahead and connect your wallet and check if you can actually claim this airdrop. But again, you had to have been staking 25 Juno to be eligible for that. So Neta is a scarce resource. It only has 33,000 Neta coins in circulation. So Neta is money on the Juno network. Its sole purpose is to function as a scarce decentralized store of value asset for the Juno ecosystem and interchain cosmos at large. Claimable for free by thousands of Juno delegates at inception, never a seed sale, private sale, or public sale, Verifiable zero Neta is held in reserve by any third party, developers, team, founders, companies, etc. The Juno community owns all Neta in existence, distributed widely and fairly via the criteria listed in the distribution section. So if you were staking Juno, go ahead and check if you can claim your Neta airdrop. Now one more thing I do want to show you in regards to Juno is the fact that it is the number three blockchain in the IBC Cosmos ecosystem by transactional volume. We can see Osmosis, Cosmos, and then Juno is number three, followed by Terra. So Juno, it is in its very early days right now. Not many people know about it. It's a fully community-driven project. So there's no big VCs. Usually the VCs are the ones to help out with marketing as well as get it on big exchanges. Juno doesn't have any of that, and it's already at number 95 in market cap. There are no charts. I can't go over any TA for Juno because it's only on Osmosis. 
We can look at the CoinGecko chart and see that it has been performing very well over the past 30 days. It is up 81%. So Juno, keep your eyes on this one. I am a big fan of this project. I think it has a lot of potential. I'm a big fan of the Cosmos ecosystem at large. I encourage you to look into this one because I think it's gonna have a big future. So Juno is a layer one permissionless smart contract sovereign blockchain in the Cosmos ecosystem. It does use the CW20 standard, that is the Cosm Wasm standard for its assets on chain. And there will be a lot of airdrops for Juno stakers as well as liquidity providers on the Juno Swap decentralized exchange going forward. So I highly encourage you to look into this asset. I'm a big fan personally of the Cosmos ecosystem, inter blockchain communication protocols. So check this one out. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. And if you're new to Crypto Empire, and you're not already subscribed, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all bell notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire and I will see you in the next video.